I'm a life scientist, so my favorite element has to be carbon. Uh, it's the atom, the element that is responsible for life on Earth, life on the only planet where we know that that exists, and that arises primarily because of the chemical versatility of the atom. And carbon, we see that versatility already, even in pure forms of carbon. We're familiar, for example, with graphite in pencils, which is a soft grey material, but also with diamond, which is a different structure of carbon. The atoms are bonded much more tightly to one another and in a different arrangement. Those we've known about for a long time. More recently, we've discovered other forms of carbon. So this here is the C60. So it's a molecule of carbon that contains 60 atoms of the element and is an unusual form discovered by Harry Croto and colleagues. Uh, it's a complicated molecule, but actually it's dwarfed in complexity by the organic carbon-containing molecules that we see in life. And we know that three and a half million years, sorry, three and a half billion years ago or more, that uh, initial small self-replicating molecules emerged, probably in the beginning from, from RNA, which then uh, somehow, we don't really know the details, became the intermediary for DNA and for proteins. And we know that all the molecules that uh, coalesce together in a living organism are all carbon-based, whether they are fats or carbohydrates or proteins. And the work that I do is to look at the structures of protein molecules. We use X-ray crystallography to work out exactly where all the atoms are in these molecules. And I spend uh, many hours of my day looking at uh, molecules that, uh, of carbon atoms. So carbon is our friend. Uh, we owe our lives to it. Uh, we, through evolution, we have now the intelligence to study it and to understand it, but also now to appreciate that thanks to our industrial development, we are pumping carbon dioxide into the atmosphere at an increasing and increasingly alarming rate. And unless we can get a grip on that, then carbon, uh, which we've depended upon for life, could be the end of us.